How about some cookies? Don't want to spend a lot of time making cookies? I've got a great recipe from, from my Pop It in the Toaster Oven Cookbook, which you can buy anywhere. And it's called Coconut Drop Cookies. It is so simple, and the cookies are so... I'm preheating my toaster oven right now <clears throat> to 250 degrees. Here I have 14 ounces of sweetened coconut. Uh, that's like, um, you know, two seven ounce bags. And I have three quarters of a cup of unbleached flour. Here's a tablespoon of, you can use butter. I'm using Smart Balance. You can use margarine. Um, and I have a teaspoon of baking powder here. Two eggs. And I'm putting in about a half a teaspoon of salt. This is kosher salt. Now I'm just gonna mix this around really well. So this is all mixed up and now I'm just going to, I've got a little teaspoon here and I'm going to drop these onto this baking sheet. This is, um, if you have a toaster oven, you, you get a little baking sheet like this with your toaster okay. oven. Coconut cookies go in to the toaster oven. It's up to temperature at 250. I'm going to set the timer for 10 minutes and I say in my recipe um, 10 minutes or until they're golden brown so that's what I'm going to look for so I would say 20 mm, 20 minutes and for this size coconut cookie I'll probably get about four dozen I'm going to take these off the pan and make up another pan and back into the toaster oven again. Here's the second batch. This time 20 minutes. I learned here too, um, I think my cookbook, Pop It in the Toaster Oven, is pretty accurate. But this always has to be taken into consideration. Your oven or your toaster oven and the proportions are, are you going to make big cookies or little cookies? Because I had to adjust the time. So my advice is that if you haven't done the recipe before, just be watchful the first time around. So either the, the stuff that you're cooking gets done <laughs> or it doesn't burn. And they store really well for weeks or in the freezer probably for months and will be on hand. If you have guests over for coffee, um, bring them out of the freezer, put them on the toast uh, button on your toaster oven and thaw them and serve them. And they're really good with coffee, they're good with tea, they're good with milk, they're good with just about anything.